Hi everyone! Two weeks ago I released my new next-gen style set which allows you to automatically adjust white balance and get the most out of Capture One AI tools. I received a massive amount of feedback from you, thank you, you're awesome! Today I'm going to challenge next-gen styles on 100 raw files. I have chosen images of different genres taken with various camera models under diverse conditions. So, let's start with this image where the auto white balance fails to provide natural colors. Let's see how the natural smart white balance style handles this image. Nice, but I would also try the cool white balance style. Okay, I like it even more here. Next, we have a typical image where it's impossible to set a single correct white balance. Auto mode tries to balance the color, but the skin tone still looks quite cold. Next gen portrait styles are designed to set the white balance according to the skin tone, so the image looks way more natural. By the way, you can try out 5 sample styles from the set for free at alexandrocom slash next. Here the auto white balance provides an ok look, but I prefer a warmer skin tone like this. Next is a landscape. Both neutral and cool looks work well here. The sunny day event style works quite well for this image. For the next image we can try the travel natural style. Nice. The auto white balance offers a warm look here, I prefer a more balanced color provided by the portrait natural style. Oh, that's a challenging underwater shot. The auto white balance fails to adjust the color here, let's see how next gen style handles this shot. Ok, I think this is the maximum we could get with the white balance. Next, let's try to auto adjust this one. I don't like this magenta look, now let's try natural or cool portrait style, ok, I love the atmosphere now. Here I would try landscape neutral or travel natural styles, nice. Ok, this is a wedding shot, the auto white balance makes it look too cold, I would try the portrait warm style instead. Here neutral landscape does a good job. Oh, another challenge, the auto mode offers a nice white balance, but I don't like the skin tone here, so I would try the portrait cool style. Next, a landscape, neutral and cool styles handle it well. The auto white balance makes little difference here and I don't like this cool look. The next gen style offers way more natural colors. For this landscape I would try travel or landscape styles, looks good. Another challenging shot and white balance alone can't fix the color here, but it will at least give you a nice base for further processing. This one looks too cold, one of the travel styles should work well here. Next, a portrait, let's try the auto white balance first. It makes the image too cold, now let's try a portrait style here, ok, much more natural and warm look. By the way, there are only 2 days left to buy the next gen styles with the $20 early bird discount. I'm finishing gathering your feedback and then I will prepare new updates for these styles. If you buy now, you will not only save $20, but you will also get all future updates free of charge. Ok, the next image. All three landscape styles work pretty well here. A great shot that definitely needs a warmer white balance, like this. A green landscape, the neutral style should work well here, yep. A little bit cold colors, the portrait style will make it look more natural. This is a shot for the travel style, nice. I would try portrait warm here, excellent. I don't like the greenish skin tone here, let's see how a next gen style will handle it. Ok, way better. 
Next, let's try landscape neutral. Nice. This one is obviously too cold. I would try natural portrait or even a warm portrait. Yeah, like this. Next, I think travel or cloudy day will handle it well. Now let's try natural or cool portrait. Landscape style. Natural portrait. Let's try to auto adjust. Yeah, it's too cold. Portrait natural or warm styles offer much better looks. Travel natural or cool. Natural or warm portrait. Landscape cool. Portrait natural. Landscape cool again. Let's try natural portrait. Here landscape cool. Next I would try portrait natural or even sunny day event. Travel cool. Here let's try natural or warm portrait. Natural portrait. Here maybe landscape neutral or travel cool. One of the portraits or maybe sunny day event. Landscape neutral, but I'm not quite satisfied with this one. Here portrait natural works well. Landscape neutral. Here the auto correction makes it too warm, so that I would try one of the portrait styles. Portrait cool. Travel natural or landscape neutral. Portrait natural or warm, nice. Portrait natural. Travel natural. Here the auto white balance makes it too greenish. I will try portrait cool. Portrait natural, portrait cool or maybe landscape neutral. Here we can choose one of the portrait styles. Portrait natural or cool. Landscape neutral. Portrait natural. Travel natural. That's a tough one. Auto white balance makes it too cold. I will try sunny day event. Landscape cool. Portrait cool. Portrait natural or cool. Here we can try different styles, basically all of them fit well. Natural portrait. Natural or cool portrait. Travel cool. Portrait natural or warm. Landscape neutral, portrait warm. Here I would choose between portrait cool and warm. Travel natural, portrait natural or warm. Portrait natural or cool. Portrait natural. Landscape neutral. That's a challenging shot. I would try portrait cool. Here, let's try different portrait styles. Portrait natural or cool. Travel natural. Portrait natural. 
portrait cool, travel natural or cool, portrait cool, portrait natural or warm. Let's try portrait natural here as well. Here portrait cool and here portrait natural. Here I would also use it. Landscape neutral. Landscape warm. Portrait natural or cool. Landscape neutral. Portrait natural or warm. So, as you can see, next-gen styles have accurately adjusted most of these images, giving them natural colors. But you can try them out yourself. Go to alexandra.com slash next and download 5 sample next-gen styles free of charge.